All right. Hello, everybody. Uh, what I want to talk about today in this video is what to do when good MLMs go bad. And in the course of this video, I want to cover what is MLM, multi-level marketing, otherwise known as network marketing. And what is MLM? What is affiliate marketing? And how does affiliate marketing differ from MLM? And which is really more lucrative? I also want to give you three tips on how to protect yourself if you are already in an MLM type company or if you're thinking about getting into an MLM company because there are good points to MLM and there are bad points to MLM, things to really look out for. So you really have to do your research and watch your back in the MLM industry, you really have to watch your back in any form of online marketing. And a little knowledge will help to protect you in big ways. So first up, why am I talking about MLM? I'm really not into MLM right now, but I used to be. I, I quit an MLM company not too long ago. But the reason why this, this topic came to mind is that I was watching a video on YouTube by one of our top trainers in our home business academy, Amy Starr Allen. And she was talking about a little bit of news that I hadn't heard yet, but there was this company called Beach Body that used to be MLM, and they decided that they were no longer going to be MLM. They were going to be strict affiliate marketing. And when this happens, this can hurt a lot of very good people that spend a lot of time building up their multi-level marketing or MLM network marketing business. And it, it, it can really screw up your income. It can really set you back tremendously. So to start out with, okay, what is MLM, also known as multi-level marketing also known as network marketing. MLM is when you make money, not just off of your own sales, but from your sales and the sales of the people that you bring in under you. And this can be extremely lucrative if you're good at building teams and building profitable teams. If you know a lot of people, who are great salespeople, great online marketers, you get into a multi-level marketing company and you recruit a lot of these people into your organization, you can be making big money even though you yourself are not making a whole lot of sales, but you're doing a great job bringing in a lot of really good salespeople. Because in multi-level marketing, you can be making money off of your own sales. That's what they call your level one, your first level. You can be making money off of your own sales and you can be making money off of the sales of the people that you bring in. Those are the people on your second level. And if it goes three levels deep or, or deeper, you can be making money off of the sales made by your affiliates, affiliates, and so on and so forth. So if you're in a, a network marketing a multi-level marketing company that goes like five levels deep, 10 levels deep. And you bring in a lot of people on your second level who are really good marketers. Then, yeah, you can be making a lot of money off of their sales and the sales of the people under them, even if you're not making many sales yourself. As long as you build up a pretty good team working under you, you can still be making good money every month off of the multi-level marketing industry. The bad part about this is that sometimes multi-level marketing companies decide to no longer be multi-level marketing companies. They decide to transition from MLM to straight affiliate marketing. 
Now, by comparison, okay, what is straight affiliate marketing? Well, straight affiliate marketing is where you make money just off of your own sales. You're not building up a team of affiliates working under you. Instead, you're building up a team of customers who like the product and will buy your product. And so, yeah, the only money that you make in affiliate marketing is off of that one level. And sometimes it'll go two levels deep and they try to call it affiliate marketing. It's where you're making money from your own sales and then they pay you what they call bonuses from your second level. And they say that's not MLM, but as far as I'm concerned, if it pays on more than one level, it's MLM. But uh, you know, straight affiliate marketing, you earn money off of your own sales and that's it. Now, multi-level marketing or MLM seems like a good deal to a lot of marketers, myself included back in the day, because they think, okay, I can build up a team of affiliates and be making money off of their own sales. But there are a couple problems that can creep up in MLM that can shut you down and they can blindside you very unexpectedly. The one is what just happened not too long ago with uh, Beachbody. I've, I've never been in Beachbody myself, never really heard of them until just this morning. But yeah, when a company decides to transition from network, uh, yeah, network marketing or MLM and just go straight affiliate marketing, then you are in a position where you're no longer earning from the people on your second level, third level, fourth level, fifth level on down, that is suddenly taken away from you. And you're only earning money off of your own sales, your level one. And I have seen people in our organization who have gone through this. And it is a very painful, traumatic experience where they built up great teams in multi-level marketing companies. And there's this one old couple that are that are a part of our organization in our in our home business academy. Uh, they had built up a great income stream with a multi-level marketing company, where they were making, you know, thousands of dollars every month from that company, and then with no warning, just out of the blue, the company sent them an email saying we are no longer, you know, thank you for your service, but we are no longer going to be a network marketing company. From now on, you will be earning commissions only on your own sales. And that cut their income from a couple thousand of dollars every month recurring to only $200 a month recurring. And that really blew them out of the water. And they spent a lot of time trying to recover from that sudden hit in loss of income. Now, imagine now you're, you're old, you're getting up in years, you're retired, you build up a really good income. And then all of a sudden that income is taken away from you. What do you do? And you just have to scramble. You just have to try to recreate, reinvent yourself, reinvent your business, rebuild your business, and carry on as best you can. So, I mean, that sucks. So, yeah, what MLM is, where you earn money off of your own sales and the sales of others that you bring in. And affiliate marketing is where you make money just off of your own sales. So, it's 100% your own effort that pays you in affiliate marketing as opposed to multi-level marketing where you're getting paid off of your sales and the sales of who knows how many people working under you. Now, which is really more lucrative? And this is something that I really didn't realize myself until I heard Amy's video and heard Amy Star Allen talking about this. But uh, when you're dealing with an affiliate marketing company, that is only paying commissions on just one level, a lot more stable of a compensation plan, 
then they can usually afford to be paying you those that that one level more in commissions than if they were paying on five different levels or 10 different levels. And so that made me think the last network marketing company or MLM company that that I was in started out as a really good company and I quit it, you know, just not too long ago actually about uh, a few months back. But it started out as a really good company. And I, I got looking at the commission structure that we had in that company before they changed it around. But, you know, I was earning 10% commissions on level one. That was my own sales. That was membership sales. It was a company where you could make money by selling memberships into the buyer's club. And then you could also be earning commissions off of the sale of product in the buyer's club. So it's kind of like a buyer's club, uh, online buyer's club for precious metals. And on the first level, they paid 10% commissions. Not bad, really. Not bad. When you consider that Amazon pays like, whether they pay 3 to 4% commissions or walmart.com, you know, they pay their affiliates. They got an affiliate program too. They pay their affiliates about 3% or so. So, uh, yeah, not a bad deal. 10% recurring. Uh, yeah, and, and this would be recurring too. Recurring commissions on just the first level. And then you got down to level two. Then every time I brought in an affiliate and the affiliate made a sale, I wouldn't get paid 10% commission on that, but I would get paid 5%, which again is not a bad deal. Better than Amazon, better than Walmart. And then on my levels three to five, I'd be getting paid 1%. So it's kind of worse than Walmart, worse than Amazon. But you think about uh, the, the, the proposition that I was making money from people that I hadn't even brought in. These were people that the people that I brought in brought in, you know, on down. And so, yeah, it looked like a pretty good deal. But all totaled up off of the sales of, of memberships, into this online buyer's club, I was making a total, if I filled up all five levels, be making a total of 18% recurring commissions, which is not bad. And I'd be earning a little bit from my own efforts and a lot from the efforts of others. And now on the products, the products that we had, this is where the commissions got very, very tiny. I would be earning 1% commission off of the sales that I made and a half percent commission of the sales of the people on down below me. So, you know, not very good. Take it down to about five levels. I'd be only making like 3% commissions. So on all levels, if I had gotten all of those levels filled up and taken full advantage of the network marketing plan, I would be earning 21% commissions off of all that economic activity. And it would have been a really great deal had the company not decided to shift and play games with the compensation plan and decide, you know, do we really want to stay network marketing or don't we really want to just go affiliate marketing? And when I heard them start talking like that, I decided I was still pretty young in that, in that program. And I decided no. If they're not going to stay true to the original plan, the original vision, if they were going to be changing things up and playing Mickey Mouse games with the compensation plan and the pricing and not be that forthcoming about exactly what kind of changes they would be making, I got extremely uncomfortable with that company and I, I left it. And I've been gone from there for a few months now. But yeah, from that company that was multi-level marketing at that time, I would be earning 21% commissions if I had filled up all of my levels. Now, in the company that I am in now and have been in for over a year, it is straight affiliate marketing and it pays 80% recurring commissions on three different products that we offer 80% recurring commissions compared to 21% if 
you get all your levels filled up. And the thing is, at the top level of the company I left, the top membership that I could have sold to one person, which would have been a recurring commission, was like, what was it, a $79 package. And I would earn 10% commission on that. I'd be earning $7.90 off of that sale, off of a $79 sale. In the company that I am in now, that also pays recurring commissions, only 80% as opposed to 10%, I can make a $10 sale and be earning $8 recurring commissions. So let that sink in. $79 sale, my past company that decided to change making only a $7.90 commission compared to a $10 sale in my present company that pays me $8 recurring commission. And they've got another product that we have. It's a funnel builder tool. It can be used by people that are trying to take their business online. It can be used by people who are already in an online business who don't like their present funnel builder. Ours is, I think, the, the best that, that I have seen. And it's a very robust funnel builder. You can use it for multiple purposes, really. You can use it in network marketing. You can use it in affiliate marketing. Heck, they even have trainings to teach you how to build your own affiliate marketing program that you own and control. They'll teach you how to do that. And uh, it costs $25 a month an excellent funnel builder, it pays $20 recurring commissions. That's our second product. A lot higher commission than the company I just left. And the third product that we have, training, traffic and conversions, how to get free traffic, how to get paid traffic, things to look out for, how to buy solo ads, how to do Facebook ads, how to get Facebook to advertise you free using a simple hack that they teach you how to use and a lot of other trainings and masterminds every day of the week at that level costs $125 a month. And it gives you live trainings that you can utilize. You can attend the trainings live or you can watch the recorded videos and you get trainings practically every day of the week, except Sunday and accept holidays. They take off Sundays and holidays. But I mean, if you're really serious about wanting to learn online marketing, affiliate marketing, and they'll even teach network marketing, our trainers have experience in all those fields. That is the place to go and it can keep you busy. And it costs only $125 a month. And that pays $100 recurring commissions. So you add all three of those products up, you're looking at a total of $128 commissions recurring that you can be getting paid from just one customer. You build up 10 customers like that, 100 customers like that, 300 customers like that, and keep them all happy, keep them all coming back. Then you've got a recurring income that you can build up gradually that will stay with you for a long, long time. And that's the other thing I love about our company. They've been in business now. I think we're into our eighth year of operation. And the owners have a long-term commitment. They don't play games with the commissions. They don't play games with the affiliate plan. They will add quality to the program every year. I am surprised by the amount of quality they've added just in the relatively short period of time I've been with them. And I mean, all the changes that they make are really for the benefit of not only the company, but of the affiliates too. And I have never heard of them yet pulling a trick where they take money away from you by changing up the compensation plan. And that's the big danger that I see in MLM. You'll get companies in there that overextend the uh, multi-level marketing commission plan. 
maybe they're paying out on too many levels and they start to go bankrupt. They start to run out of money. And when you run out of other people's money, it's hard to keep a business going like that. It becomes more of a pyramid scheme than anything else. And they collapse. Not saying that all MLM are pyramid schemes, far from it, but some have proven to be. And yeah, they, they can crash for that reason. But the, the main reason that I've seen in my own experience and learning from the experience of others is that MLMs can tend to shift and say, okay, we're not going to be multi-level marketing anymore. We're going to straight affiliate marketing. When you're already dealing with a company that is straight affiliate marketing, they can't take your levels two, three, four, five on down to 10. They can't take that away from you because they don't exist. You're making money just off of your own level. And if they're paying like 80% commissions instead of like 10% commissions or 5% commissions or half percent commissions, then yeah, you can be making a lot more money, a lot more easily with an affiliate marketing company that has a good commission structure and pays recurring commissions, as opposed to a network marketing company that could change on a dime with no warning. And yeah, I've seen this happen in our industry. I've been on The receiving end of that myself in kind of a minor detail, I was lucky. I I hadn't had time to build up a big team in the last network marketing company that I was in when it began to change. And then when I saw the changes they were making, I thought, "I I, I can find a better deal elsewhere. And I took my time, I took my energy, I took my focus to the present company that I am in. and really one of the best moves I've ever made. So yeah, that is in a nutshell, what is MLM? How does MLM differ from affiliate marketing? And which is the most lucrative? A lot of people think MLM is the most lucrative and that's where marketers go. But you've got to do the math for each individual company that you're thinking about joining. Look at the affiliate plan, do the math, and then compare that to an affiliate marketing affiliate plan and, uh, and, and just see which is the one that's going to work for you. And the thing that I like about affiliate marketing with a company that's been long-term is that it's going to be stable. It will probably be stable. There's no guarantees. Things can change. You know, businesses that look good can suddenly go bankrupt. But when you're dealing with a business that's been around for three years, five years, seven years, eight years, 10 years. It usually gives me a much better feeling than dealing with a company that just started up yesterday. Because you know that a company that's already had, you know, seven years under its belt, seven years of history, it's not a fly-by-night. It's a stable company. So that's why I like to do business that way from now on. Now, lastly, I want to give three tips on how to protect yourself if you're already in an MLM type company, or if you're thinking about getting into an MLM, because there are good MLMs out there. Don't believe all the propaganda that it's all a Ponzi scheme. It's all a pyramid scheme and, you know, this, that, and the other thing. Yeah, there are scams out there. Beware of that. But there are also good companies out there that do this model, but they can change and you need to be prepared You need to know what to do if that happens. My first tip is don't spend everything you earn in that company. A lot of people, myself included, and my family, get into the bad habit of living paycheck to paycheck. You earn some money. You get used to the idea that that money is coming in every week or every month, and you just spend it, and you trust that more money is going to be coming in You're living paycheck to paycheck. And then if something happens, if one paycheck goes missing, if two paychecks go missing, then you are out of luck. You know, a lot of people don't realize this, but, you know, they are just one or two disasters 
from living the good life, going from living the good life to being homeless. And uh, people that are living paycheck to paycheck, that's exactly what you're doing. If you don't have some sort of a security fund, some sort of an emergency fund that you're saving up for yourself, then you are actually in kind of a uncertain position because jobs, companies shut down, even in, in the brick and mortar world. I, in my work history, I have most every company that I've ever worked for has gone bankrupt or downsized and gone overseas since the 1980s when I first got into the job market up till now. Most every company that I've worked for has either gone bankrupt, gone out of business, or been shipped overseas. And it can happen. It can happen to anyone. So don't live paycheck to paycheck. Don't spend everything that you earn. Build up an emergency fund that will hopefully be able to see you through for a month of unemployment or two months or three months. Uh, Build up that emergency fund as big as you can get it. And then that way, in any kind of network marketing or online business that you are in, if it suddenly and unexpectedly shuts down or is shut down, or you get an email saying, so glad that you were an affiliate of our network marketing company, we have decided to go straight affiliate marketing, screw your income and have a nice day. That happens. Well, they don't word it quite like that. That's how it feels when you see something like that. And uh, yeah, that way, if if and when that happens, you have an emergency fund to see you through while you struggle and, 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 and rush to try to pivot and go from one business to another business and reinvent your home based business strategy. Because sadly, these things do happen. And if you have an emergency fund to see you through, keep paying the rent, keep paying the utilities, keep feeding your family for as long as you can without that online income, should it suddenly dry up and go away. That's the number one thing I think you should do. Don't spend everything. Build up your emergency fund. Second thing you can do, monetize every tool, every third party outside tool that you use in your online business, monetize the heck out of it. And this is something that I overlooked in my early days of doing online marketing. Uh, My big mistake was YouTube, not monetizing my YouTube channel. Because at that time, when I first started building up my YouTube channel, I really wasn't that worried about it because I thought, you know, I'm, I'm in this other you know, online business that pays better commissions than what YouTube was, was, was paying through their, you know, their ad share uh, partner program. And so I, I didn't worry about it because, you know, I, I, well, really, I just didn't think it w- was worth my effort. But now I'm wishing that I had because it's an extra source of income should disaster strike. Now, I don't think my present company is going to go out of business anytime soon. But you never know. You know, what if something happens? What if, you know, we, we, we can what if, what if ourselves to death? But, you know, you need to be ready with other streams of income in case the unthinkable does happen to you and any company at any time, even with a very good track record, even with a long, long history of success, any company can go away. You know, my wife when I first started looking at network marketing and online marketing and all that stuff, she would ask me the question that I thought was crazy at first. She'd ask me the question, what happens when the company owner dies? Made me think, what happens if the company owner dies? What happens if you're in a good company, paying good commissions, all of a sudden, you know, company owner dies, maybe, maybe, shuts it down. What happens? Do they have a a line of succession there? Do they have a vice president that will take over? Some companies do, some companies don't. So yeah, disaster can happen at any time. So monetize as many different streams of income as you can. If you got a YouTube channel, monetize that. 
if you do a podcast like I do, monetize that. And podcasts by and large are a lot easier to monetize than YouTube is. My podcast that I have on Spreaker, I had that thing monetized from day one with no audience. You know, the, the bar is a lot lower and I'm making a little bit of money every month with my podcast. And I use my podcast to advertise my own business. So it's a win-win. But yeah, monetize your podcast. If you have a third-party autoresponder that is separate from your regular business opportunity, check and see if it has an affiliate plan. And if it does, make sure you're part of that affiliate plan and you know recommend it to other people. Any tool that you use in your online business, any tool that you use and love and would gladly recommend for free to other people, if it has an affiliate plan attached to it, make sure you can be earning a little bit of money every time somebody buys it using your link. Because, you know, those little streams of income, they can all begin to add up. So any third-party tool that you use that's separate from your business, but that you use in your business, check and see if they have an affiliate plan, a partner program, something like that, and do what you can to monetize that and start making money from those tools. And then my third point, have a backup plan. There are a lot of people in online business that think they can do just one program and build it up and be happy with it. And some programs that are long-term, yeah, that can be a safe strategy for several years, actually. But I've seen people in programs that they they get into something that is hyped up, like, oh my God, there's this one, I, I I won't name it, but they were saying, oh, we're creating wealth, we're creating generational wealth, this is going to be the next big thing, and get in, get all in, and all that. And I was part of that in the the early days of that program. Six months later, crashed, (laughs) crashed and burned. And I saw a lot of people all excited, just like I was, getting in, getting into it, thinking this is going to be the next big thing. It was a, a big cryptocurrency thing that was all the talk about 10, 12 years ago. Learned a lot since then. But yeah, a lot of people put all their money into it and lost. We lost big on that. And that taught me to be a lot more careful about trusting everything that you hear online. So that's where now I say, do your own research. You can listen to videos and podcasts and, and, uh, you know, pay attention to the bits of information that you get, but always back it up with your own research and see if it's right for you. Because there are a lot of people out there that are really good marketers, but they are liars and they will mislead you and they take advantage of people. And I hate seeing that happen. So yeah, have a backup plan. You know, if once you build up one business, take about a year to build a business up from zero to a point where you're making, you know, some, some pretty good money with it. For some, it might take a year. Others, it might take two years. But build up one good business. And then once you got that business built up, start working on another and build that business up. And uh, the thing is, is once you get good at promoting one affiliate marketing business or even network marketing business, you can replicate that success in other companies because it's the same skill sets that you're going to be using. The same skill sets that you use that you learn in one affiliate marketing or network marketing company, you can use those same skills to build up multiple affiliate marketing and network marketing companies. I would recommend, though, not to try to do it all at once. I've been there, been there and tried that myself. I had at one point five different companies I was trying to build up. And man, it's just hard to keep focus. It's like I, I wake up one day not knowing what the heck am I going to do? Am I going to promote this company, company A, company B, company C? And because we had other businesses that we were running here from our home. And finally, I just saw the wisdom in scaling back and working on one good affiliate marketing company at a time 
and then building it up and then moving on to something else while still maintaining the first company. I know this one guy, an online marketer, has been doing this thing for like 20 years. And a practice that he and his wife have gotten into is they will start a, uh, start a business opportunity. They'll get in on it. They'll take a year to build it up. And of course, this guy's been doing it so long, he's got probably an autoresponder email list the size of Canada. Probably. Uh, maybe a slight exaggeration there. But I mean, yeah, he will take one year to build up one business. And then every year about Thanksgiving time, he and his wife will sit down. They'll do some research. They'll talk and they will try to find a new business that they can join, a new opportunity that they can join that will increase their income by an extra $100,000 a year. And this guy's a pro. He knows he can do it. He's done it multiple times. And so, yeah, they'll, they'll try to start looking at other companies that they can build up around Thanksgiving time. Around Christmas time, they'll have their list narrowed down to maybe one or two prospects. And then by the new year, they'll have their company picked out and they'll start promoting that new opportunity. And they will keep their other opportunities rolling. You know, a lot of times they'll be rolling on autopilot because of, you know, the amount of time he's put into it paying recurring commissions, being, uh, you know, selling on YouTube, things like that. And uh, they'll, he'll just work on building up the new company. And this guy just gets to the point where he can build up multiple streams of income that pays well. And if one shuts down, one goes belly up, then it's no big deal. He's got other multiple streams of income to see him through. So yeah, have a backup plan. Work, I would say, that just just from my from my own experience, build up one company at a time. Don't try to build up ten different streams of income all at at the same time, but do focus on getting multiple independent streams of income coming in. They can be small ones, they can be big ones, but anything that you see out there that you love, that you like, that you would gladly recommend for free to other people. Check and see if they got an affiliate plan. And if they've got a really good affiliate plan, I would say consider promoting that company. And once you get a lot of companies in your business portfolio that you love, that you trust, that are paying you good commissions, then if one of those companies, God forbid, something happens, the owner gets struck dead, the company goes bankrupt, whatever, you've got these other streams of income. To fall back on. So those are my three recommendations. Don't spend your entire paycheck, you know, monetize everything you can and have a backup plan. So that way, if you're in any kind of network marketing company or even affiliate marketing company that decides to change. And I mean, that's happened too. affiliate marketing companies. Sometimes they can change and say, we're not going to be affiliate marketing companies anymore. We're going to pay our money to an an ad firm and just start promoting the company through advertisements. That's happened too. But yeah, you, you need to be prepared. You need to know what you can do to protect yourself and then have your, all your bases covered. Because online marketing, whether it be network marketing, MLM, affiliate marketing, whatever, it's a great market to be in. It's great to have that money coming in month after month after month. And it's great to be able to earn money from just sitting on your bed doing a podcast, really. Where you don't have to go out there and actually sweat under the hot sun to have money coming in. But there are some things you have to look out for and be prepared for to keep your bases covered. So hope you found some value in this. If you want to take a look at my company and what I do by way of affiliate marketing, yes, we're a, a home business academy. We pay 80% recurring commissions. We've got a lot of value in that program. If you want to take a look at that, go to my main link, ralphshomebiz.com. And that link will be in the program description down below. So until later, take care. We'll catch you in the next update. Like, share, subscribe. Catch you later. Bye-bye.